Hello, my name is Joe Wilcoxon with VIPA Controls America, and today we're going to configure a SLEO Ethernet IP bus coupler for use with an Allen Bradley Compact Logix PLC. Our first step is going to be to open up a web browser and up in the address bar, type in the IP address of the SLEO bus coupler. If you haven't done so already, use the dip switches on the front of the bus coupler to set its IP address. You can see in this example that I've set the IP address to 192.168.1.71 by using the 8th, 4th, 3rd, and 2nd dip switches. A more detailed explanation for this can be found in the bus coupler's manual. Once on the web page, you'll see a listing of all the modules that are connected to your bus coupler on the left-hand side. Some modules, such as simple digital I.O. modules, don't have any parameters that need to be changed. If you're using an analog or specialty module, that may require some additional configuration. The most important step here is to save the current device parameters on the configuration page when you're finished. Now we can go ahead and open up RSLogix 5000 and create a new project. Once you have a new project, right click Ethernet in the IO configuration tree and create a new module. And in the text box, just search for generic Ethernet module. And here we can give this any name. We'll just call this VIPA 053 IP. The COM format we're going to set to single integer. In this box, we'll enter in the IP address of the bus coupler. For our assembly instances, it's going to be 20 for input, 10 for output, and 30 for configuration. And then our size is going to be 496, 496 and 400. An important part to note here is to check the use unicast connection over Ethernet IP box when using our bus coupler. At this point we can just confirm the path of the PLC and go online. And here we're going to download the project to the PLC. And once that is finished, the PLC will be able to use the SLEO Remote I.O. The individual input and output points will be able to be accessed by using the module defined tags that are automatically generated when adding the module. It is important to point out that all the controls on the web page will be unavailable once the bus coupler connects to the PLC. You can disconnect the bus coupler from the PLC, then cycle power in order to be able to access these controls once again. If you ever need to add or remove modules to the remote I.O. system, you will need to delete the existing configuration on the coupler, then save your new configuration.